Hi everyone, I'm Leas from Books Coach. I'm pretty excited to join the live AMA event with the team from Avie. So, without further ado, let's get started. Prano asked, "What was the biggest challenge that I experienced when I started the Books Coach project?" Well, uh, you know, being an open source project, there were always this this set of challenges while starting it, like uh, you know, finding the initial users. finding the you know the first set of contributors like that there there are obviously some some uh you know starting issues with an open source project but specifically in hope scotch we were you know we were quite privileged to get the first set of users and all so uh you know those those were you know somehow we, we taken care of and uh, yeah specifically for hope scotch there were some technical issues or it's kind of uh, you know kind of went like a backlog for for a couple of weeks even more than a month which includes uh you know being in web app uh hope scotch can't even you know make request to non secure http endpoints so you know solving that that particular issue was uh is it actually the one of the biggest challenges we had so uh we we actually came up with a proxy server which kind of like handled the uh non secure http endpoints and uh, uh you know proxy the response to hope's coach so that we can you know get the response from the from the client side and uh, one another challenge was uh you know accessing the locally hosted endpoints so again being a web app our browsers don't have the access to uh you know access the locally hosted endpoints so again we have to uh you know think out of the box to find the best way to uh you know fix fix that access problem and uh, we again come up with a browser extension set of browser extension uh basically for almost every browser so and uh, that that kind of solved the uh you know the access restriction for local host So the APIs. The next question is asked by Anthony AJ. Hi Elias, when did you realize that Hope Scotch was being used expensively by teams who deliver hardcore products, and how did that impact your strategy as a software provider? Well, uh, you know, after getting the initial traction for a couple of months, we realized that uh, you know employees from big companies are using hopscotch for their personal needs uh companies such as uh, google microsoft github julio you know almost uh multiple employees were using hopscotch from from these companies so we were always keen to provide the best experience for individuals who are dealing with apis and uh, after realizing this this provision of uh you know startups or teams uh dealing with enterprise level api use cases we quickly changed the path to add essential features for team collaboration uh sharing apis uh api testing you know those those features which are basically tailored for teams and uh this this is this is actually the current path we are ongoing to deliver the best enterprise ready features in hope scotch which will uh, you know essentially make the uh teams who are dealing with apis in an enterprise level scale much more faster and easy and the fast what are the biggest challenges that i faced being an open source maintainer well uh there are a lot of challenges for being an open source maintainer and uh, out of which you know there are some challenges which kind of like you know being faced by almost every open source maintainer and uh, the the most important one is uh you know the, the discoverability part of the software where uh you know there, there are thousands of open source projects being released almost every single day and the the chances of you know, being uh you know getting hidden on on those those thousands of releases is is quite high. 
so finding the first set of users uh you know initial contributors getting that that initial traction in the communities is you know are the uh the most biggest challenges faced by almost every open source contributors and uh, specifically in hope scotch well you know the the entire team of hope scotch is is basically from almost uh you know every every continent in in, in the world and uh, we we had uh you know there was from almost uh every t- different time zones and uh you know the the occasions were almost all our teams comes online is is basically uh you know pretty rare and uh, for almost every project this is actually a tough tough part because uh you know there is there is no no, no much of uh synchronous connection communication and all so we have to deal with that part and uh, uh you know to make the project run in an asynchronous team and uh, we rarely even come on with the next question is asked by george hi lias we are relatively new to hope's good scene but everyone is in love with the ease of use and the flexibility to use it for almost everything thank you george the one question i have from our release team we are currently using postman wanted to see how hope's good is positioned to its features if you wanted to switch well that's that's an exciting question uh so at hope scotch we are in this in this very super early stage and uh, being an alternative to postman or or you know every other platforms which works in the same space hope scotch always had this advantage of the uh, you know the support from the open source community which i guess is the most powerful support for an op- for a for every uh, software project and uh, this this specifically helped us to streamline uh, you know all the features that we built in hopscotch so you know if you if you can actually see that there is no block layer or any any other uh, you know useless features in hopscotch we we are pretty keen to make every feature very essential and pretty pretty minimal also so going forward uh down the line in maybe a couple of months we will eventually become pretty much saturated with almost uh you know all the other alternatives out there and uh, we are in this process of you know making hope scotch and enterprise ready application so making the switch from uh, postman or any other alternatives won't be an issue at all because we are we are parallelly building migration tools which allows you to uh, import a collection from postman or pretty much almost every protocol that support importing and uh, yeah it, it it will be a it will be a, like a simple step that can be done pretty much in one day to make the switch from any other alternatives to postman uh, next question is asked by harsh he asked which project or concept according to you can be the next best thing in open source world well i'm a, i'm actually a huge advocate of how open source can uh, you know, bring bring great changes to the software and uh, the next best thing that i wish going to happen is is in the you know uh, developer tools industry If you look closely you can actually see that almost every proprietary services or softwares are being built on top of open source technologies and libraries and uh, it, it's, it's just a matter of time for developers to realize the the power of open source communities tools technologies and uh, you know come up with alternatives to to almost every proprietary service software. and developer tools especially have a huge advantage because you know developers being the the core part of open source they they contribute to such projects so in the near future we can actually see such alternatives to property services conquering the uh, entire industry the next question is asked by pranav 
How do you use hopscotch in your life? Work or first name? Well, Pranav, uh, I basically use hopscotch almost every single day. Uh, you know, I, I am an engineer, so every single day I have to deal with APIs, test them, uh, share with my teammates. There are almost every features of hopscotch is being you know, used almost every single day. And, uh, uh, well, a fun fact is that we use Hopscotch to build Hopscotch. Our uh, backend GraphQL APIs are, you know, being tested and shared within our teammates. And uh, you know, for those purposes, we use Hopscotch. And, uh, you know, API documentation part, uh, you know, sharing with our potential users, uh, sharing API requests, you know, basically every feature is, you know, used on on a daily basis and not just for my professional work, but also in my, uh, you know, hopefully sense. So the next question is asked by Kera. Hi, Lias. Everyone talks about community. What exactly is community to you? Well, at Hopscotch, we maintain this, this green here, this uh, you know, ever welcome community for all of our users. And for us, community basically means all the users, all the contributors, collaborators, maintainers, our sponsors, basically everyone who supports the bridge. We, we even keep multiple channels for those who want to you know, make a suggestion or a feedback or even report a bug. So, you know, we always keep multiple channels like uh, Discord servers, Telegram groups, uh, GitHub discussions, basically multiple mediums to, you know, hear what our community has to say about the project. And uh, we, we use their feedbacks, we evaluate our choices and we respond to them. And that is again, one of the greatest powers of open source projects because there is always this this community of open source developers, which supports the project, and uh, that that can be you know the libraries that we use under the hood, uh, our users, our collaborators, guys who contributed contributed the code to our project. You know, basically everyone who supports the project, and uh, we we always make sure our community's voice did not go unheard. Okay, guys, that was a fun session. I had so much fun answering a lot of you know questions from from the entire community. There are a couple of them are left back, but I will you know keep updated on that. So have a good day. Bye. Catch you on a later video.